What's up, Star Wars fans? My name is Prince and I'm an urban acolyte. In this video, I wanna talk about this rumor about the Knights of Ren in Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, before I get into the details of the discussion, I wanna make it clear that this is all a rumor. None of this stuff is confirmed. If it turns out to be true, then this could be spoiler material about Star Wars Episode Nine. So if you wanna go into Episode Nine completely spoiler free, Hey man, I'll understand. So peace out and come back from my review of the Broly movie or one of the videos that I have coming up about uh, Star Wars video games. We cool? All right, so yesterday the homie Jason Ward over at Making Star Wars posted this rumor to his site. He's got a really good track record of breaking stuff that's happening on the set. So I don't know, but I'm really excited to talk about this topic. So based on this rumor, the Knights of Ren are gonna play a really big part in where the Star Wars story appears to be headed as far as what may happen after the Skywalker story wraps up. I think it could also point to Kylo Ren actually surviving this film because it looks like there's gonna be an even bigger threat in the galaxy besides the threat of the First Order uh, being led by Kylo Ren. And it seems like the Knights of Ren are part of that bigger threat. Okay, so first thing, during the gap that takes place between The Last Jedi and Episode Nine, Kylo Ren appears to have built up a pretty sizable power structure. He's got entire planets that have their own military forces that are completely loyal to him. So if you're new here, you haven't heard me talk about this, but I've been pointing to this pocket of people within the Empire who felt that Vader would have made a better leader than Palpatine. And if you've read Bloodline, there's actually a part where Ransom Castelfo is at a party with other Sinorous Senators where that sentiment is echoed, where people feel that Vader would have made a better leader. I'm saying all of this because, well, imagine that you have the First Order and it's supposed to be the new empire, the better empire without all the flaws that were present under Palpatine. You have people who think Vader should have been the emperor and your new empire has a Vader of its own. So how do you think those people are gonna feel when they find out that their new Vader is not just the new guy who's like Vader, but he actually is a descendant of Vader, Vader's grandson. So I'm saying, Kylo Ren stepping up to take out Snoke and become the Supreme Leader of the First Order, I think it was part of his own personal ambition. Like I said, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. And Kylo Ren, he wanted to be the man. But I also think there were other people who wanted Ben to also be the man. I think they were whispering in his ear like, hey man, you're the new Vader. And we felt like Vader should have been the leader all along. We haven't really gotten much as far as the politics within the First Order, nothing outside of Bloodline, but I think we might get something leading up to Episode Nine. And if not, then we will later when Lucasfilm decides to fill in the details about Snoke saving the First Order, becoming the leader, and how Kylo Ren joined the First Order. Now all that stuff is kind of important because it will tell us the relationship between Snoke, the First Order, and the Knights of Ren. See, the Knights of Ren are actually not part of the First Order. Well, we know about the Knights of Ren is that they were dark side force users who have worked with Snoke and Kylo Ren when they had similar goals. Now my working hypothesis is that after Ben turned and burned the Jedi Temple, he left with some of Luke's students and they joined the Knights of Ren. From there, Ben took the name Kylo Ren and he eventually was convinced to leave them in order to join Snoke in the First Order. That's just my hypothesis for now. My point is that this belief that the Knights of Ren are like Snoke's bodyguards or Kylo Ren's bodyguards, yo, that's not true. The only thing we know is that Kylo Ren was the master of the Knights of Ren, so maybe he's still a member of that group, but that doesn't make them part of the First Order. Since we don't really know what that relationship is, it sets up the Knights of Ren as a third player in the conflict between the First Order and the Resistance. See, we have news about a new group of soldiers on set were being referred to as Sith soldiers. They dress in red, similar to Snoke's Praetorian Guards or Palpatine's Royal Guard. Now the name Sith soldiers is interesting because what if they actually are Sith soldiers? What I'm saying is that what if the Knights of Ren are connected to the Sith? 
Now this is cool to me because I've been speculating since 2016 that we might see a return of the Sith Order by the conclusion of this saga. If the Knights of Ren have any ties to the Acolytes of the Beyond, as several Star Wars YouTube channels have speculated, well, it would mean the Knights of Ren are either a new order or an old order that has been reintroduced in the canon who follow the Sith religion. In Legends, there were other people who followed the dark side, and they were Sith who existed outside of Bane's Rule of Two Sith Order. Just like the Jedi appeared to be unaware of the Sith Temple that lay beneath the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, what if somewhere lost in the Jedi archives is information about Sith who disappeared into the unknown regions or were lost in wild space? Palpatine sensed a strong dark side presence coming from the unknown regions of space. Some assumed that that was Snoke, but I don't think that was the case. I think Snoke was also searching for that same presence. So could it be another order who descended from the original Sith? So the question that we should be asking, if any of this turns out to be true, is if there is a bigger threat in Star Wars. Some of the Star Wars hater channels feel like Star Wars needs to follow what Marvel is doing. And my retort has always been, well, Marvel is basically taking events from decades and decades of comic books and recreating them in the MCU. Star Wars has 40 years of stories that existed as legends, but it's not quite the same thing, you know? I mean, I was happy with Lucasfilm expanding the George Lucas canon and borrowing ideas from legends when appropriate, because I didn't want them to recreate everything from legends on the big screen. I could do an entire video on that, but I'll just say for the people who wanted the new uh, movies to be legends, people would still have found reasons to hate those movies the minute things didn't go the way they wanted them to go. But anyway, I really do feel like the Knights of Ren could be used to deliver this bigger threat in Star Wars. Just based on J.J. Abrams' comment about wanting to make an entire movie devoted to the Knights of Ren, that makes me feel like these folks are going to be really important in Episode 9, or whatever future stories are going to be told moving forward. I've been hoping for more Force stuff, more lightsaber fights and Force pushing, all that kind of stuff. What if we get this whole storyline moving forward where the bad guys or evil force users. Think about it now. We've got the Knights of Ren and in the same way, the First Order has been arming for war since the Battle of Jakku. You've got these dark side force users also training as warriors to accomplish well, whatever their goal is. The even bigger question is, who's leading them? Kylo Ren was the master of the Knights of Ren, but are the Knights of Ren part of some larger order? Could there be somewhere, someone out there that's even more powerful than Snoke was? I mean, think about the situation in Star Wars Old Republic, the Valkorian and the Eternal Empire. The Knights of Ren could be like the Knights of Zakul. If you don't know the Star Wars Old Republic story, I might know a guy who streams the Old Republic and plans to release edited versions on his YouTube channel on this channel. So maybe you should follow my Star Wars Old Republic series. But basically, the Knights of Zakul are all Force users. It would be crazy if the sequel trilogy had something in common with the Old Republic game. But if you really think about the story on Star Wars Old Republic, there's actually quite a few things that are similar to the new movies already. So the question we have to seriously consider is that if the Knights of Ren emerge as a new threat, or maybe they're just the first wave of something bigger that's coming, will Rey and Kylo Ren have to team up? I know this would make the Raylo fan base extremely happy. It would make sense to me that the two of them need to come together, but I don't think it'll lead to some kind of romance or re redemption for Ben Solo. I see it as more of a situation where the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Rey is the last Jedi, so the Knights of Ren would be after her, just on principle. The Knights of Ren would be after Kylo Ren because, well, he killed Snoke, or he defected from the Knights of Ren to join the First Order. If they are some kind of zealous religious organization, it would totally make sense for them to have beef with Kylo Ren. So for now, yo man, this is, this is big. There's a lot to process. What if the sequel saga ends on the same note as Revenge of the Sith? In Revenge of the Sith, we saw the Sith get their revenge on the Jedi. In the original trilogy, Vader turned back to the light and he ended the Bane Order of Sith. What if at the end of Episode 9 we see the return of the Sith Order, but not like the Bane Order, but the Sith Order before Bane? 
it would put the story in a place where the Jedi have to emerge to give the galaxy some hope of standing a chance against the Knights of Ren and whatever threat they're facing. And maybe these six other movies to come might have to deal with new force sensitive people and groups stepping up to lead the charge. I think that would be pretty cool, but that's just my opinion, so I'd like to hear yours. First off, what do you think about these rumors regarding the Knights of Ren and the Sith soldiers that we might be seeing in Star Wars Episode Nine? Do you think the Knights of Ren might be a third faction that could throw a wrench in the war between the Resistance and the First Order? Also, how do you feel about seeing Kylo Ren as a true supreme leader with entire armies and planetary militias that are completely loyal to him and not Hux. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be checking back to see what you all have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. If you love Star Wars gaming and you wanna talk Star Wars, make sure to enable notifications and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so you'll know when I'm going live with Star Wars chats. And if you're interested in getting deeper into the Urban Acolyte path, hit my link to get on my early bird list for the Jedi path training I'm creating so you can be the first to get it. Well, that's all I got for this video, so thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing, and may the force of others be with you, always.